What's up everyone? Welcome in the next video. We're heading out right now to a waterfall called Nung Nung Waterfall. And what a difference getting out from that busy part of Bali and getting here, I would call it like a countryside because there's a lot of rice fields, cows, and you know, just farming areas. It's a big relief. Even when we got to the parking lot, it's such a difference. There was like three cars and two motorbikes. Comparing that to the waterfall that we visited in the last video, it's just amazing. It's so quiet. There's nobody besides us right now on this little trail. We have about five to 10 minutes to get down to the waterfall. And I guarantee you that it's an amazing view. I've been here a few years ago and the waterfall just made such a big impression on me that I can't wait to see it again. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names, but sometimes they're really hard to pronounce. I probably said it wrong. Nung Nung? Nung Nung? Nung Nung. Nung Nung? Nung Nung? One of those versions is probably correct or all of them are wrong. <laughs> so sorry, I don't speak Indonesian. I have no idea how to pronounce it. After this trip, you're gonna have calves like Popeye forearms. <laughs> <laughs> I better. <laughs> this seems to be a case in every of those waterfalls. A lot of, lot of stairs. And right now they're kind of decent, but sometimes they're like two, even to three feet tall. So you kind of have to climb it, but it's very, very nice. Look at this, it looks so beautiful. I don't know how many, but there's probably a good few hundred of steps. And some of them are very, very steep and very tall. So I can't wait for the exciting Stairmaster on the way back. Are you excited about it? No. Not at all? <laughs> Seriously. These ones are, I think, the steepest stairs I have ever been on. They're crazy. The first time I came here to this waterfall, I found it on Google Maps on the satellite imagery because locations like that back a few years they were not tagged you couldn't find it on Instagram or like on Google search or in local guides uh, the only way was just to you know look through the area and I was looking around Mount Batur was here because I was planning my trip and I found this and this is a very beautiful place and very underrated and I hope it stays like that <laughs> This was the best decision to drive here almost two hours. Normally on Google Maps it shows about an hour and a half from Sinur, but with the traffic in the most packed part of Bali, it took us two hours. But guys, look at this. It's beautiful. Besides us, there's just two more people on that side. This is an amazing place, a very underrated waterfall in Bali. So highly recommend visit before it's gonna get popular. And you know what time is it right now? It's time to leave because it got super busy. We got here at the right moment. I highly recommend visiting this beautiful waterfall early in the morning to avoid those crowds. This was the best waterfall experience in Bali so far just because of one reason, that there was nobody 
here when we got here. It was beautiful. We had the waterfall to ourselves, so I highly recommend come here in the morning because as, as you could see right now when we're leaving, there is a lot of people, but right now it's the dreadful part of coming back up those stairs. Twenty-one steps. Yes. All right. <laughs> Are you running these ones too? I need water. <laughs> <laughs> Give or take, about five hundred steps later. <laughs> that was fun, right? Yeah. Whew, okay. Let's go to the next location. After a short drive from the last waterfall, we arrived to the Senge uh, monkey forest. There's few of them on the island, but uh, this one was recommended to us. So we figured it out, we're gonna check it out. See how the monkeys are. <laughs> no, no, no problem, your head, no problem. <laughs> look, look your camera, look your camera. <laughs> Oh, look. oh, there's more climbing. I <laughs> like this more. There's oh, like you have two now. monkey. Hey, hey, kiss me. Make me. <laughs> okay, little guy. Are you less afraid? Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah? I like them. And this place is really beautiful. Because they have like a big temple in the middle. And there's monkeys everywhere. Look. There's two picking on each other over there. <laughs> so cute. And these ones are definitely less aggressive than the ones in Ubud because that's the monkey forest I went to a long time ago and the monkeys were stealing everything hats, glasses, cameras they would jump on your backpack and literally open a backpack like this they would knew how to do it they would open, reach into it and take whatever they could Look me <laughs> I could just hear ASMR yeah. happening. Yeah, bend down. Yeah. Your banana. Oh, like a jumping juice. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> hey, look me. Can you take a photo? Gonna jump. What is that? Is that taro? Yeah, sweet uh, potato. Sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato, and the the peelings in morning the peelings sweet potato, and afternoon they give some banana. <laughs> Are you having fun? Look at this, this is like the cutest thing I ever saw. The little monkeys just playing in the water, diving. Super cute. Getting surrounded by the monkeys because everyone here has some food. So they're already waiting. As soon as you're gonna put your hand in the pocket, they're gonna start jumping on you and try to take the food from you. Alright, this is super cool. I'm glad we came here. They're very friendly, or I would say they're not aggressive like the monkeys at the other 
monkey forest so that's really cool and there's a lot of little ones look at this one super tiny this was super fun but if you're planning on doing something like that don't wear a tank top wear a long sleeve because the monkeys are kind of dirty and you might get a little bit scratched like me but overall very good experience Welcome back everyone after a short break for a very late lunch in my opinion in one of the best ramen places here in Ubud. This was seriously delicious but we just arrived to the uh, Ubud Palace, the King's Palace here to check it out and then head back to the hotel. You have all this beautiful Indonesian architecture here and a very random sculpture. I mean, it's cool, but <laughs> it totally doesn't fit the rest. Are you exhausted? <laughs> done for today, right? I'm so done <laughs> after eating that food. I'm ready to go rest. Yeah. And that's the palace. Uh, if you want to see it and you're in the area, go visit it. But if you're far away, I would not recommend coming here because the traffic yeah, is no, just terrible. Our distance to the hotel is about, I don't know, 20 miles, maybe less. It's showing us right now an hour and a half in this traffic. So we're gonna start driving. We're not gonna go to our next location, which was the marketplace here in Ubud because it's getting late and we're just done for today. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.